Hello everyone. Um, yeah, myself Pawan. So yeah, today we'll talk about uh, a small application, Trip Expense Tracker appl application, uh, by using a React Native app. So yeah, let's dive into it. So the, the main intuition of this application is, uh, as this is summer season, so most of us uh, like may go for vacation. So we can use this application uh, to track our trips and their expenses. So if you are a mobile developer, you can happily use uh, uh, my code and look at that and you can even improvise based on your needs. Uh, and But if you are a end user or if you want to have this kind of applications on your mobile, just let me know. Uh, I can still even develop uh, with much uh, uh, rich UI and uh, uh, with great features. Yeah, without wasting much time, so let's dive into the application and see the uh, what are the main features of the application. So yeah, if you could see this, uh, the, the first thing is real-time sign-in using Firebase Authentication and the same thing for the sign-out. We are using sign-in and sign-out features and uh, it's much realistic here because we are using Firebase, uh, one of the core features of it, which is called Firebase Authentication. So there's no compromise here, so it's purely uh, real time. So we can sign up and sign in using Firebase Authentication. And then the main intuition of this app is to track the trips here. So like the travel trips. So uh, we can add the trips and then on each and every trip we can still add uh, expenses. So at the end we can see uh, how many trips we have been visited or traveled and then on each and every trip we can see what expenses or how many expenses we been spent on that each trip so that's the main intuition of this app and this is much realistic here everything is realistic and even uh, uh, everything is storing on cloud that is called firebase uh, uh, firestore we are using it here and which is purely uh, excellent uh, for our uh, small kind of applications yeah so let's dive into this um, so let's mod the first uh, uh, sign in sign up uh, uh, feature here so yeah uh, if you could see the left side it's a sign up form or which I created here and the rightmost uh, is a sign in screen so right now I'm just using single screen or single slide for both the uh, sign in and sign up features because most of uh, more or less it's using the same kind of concept here so um, uh, if it's a sign up form so we send all the username email and password and just uh, bundle it and then send to the Firebase authentication. So there we are using Firebase uh, sign in and uh, with email and password method, which has been provided by the Firebase authentication. So uh, similarly, if you use for sign in, so I'm sorry, I think I, I confused here. So for sign up, it's a create uh, username and password method, and for sign in, it's a sign in with username and password method from the Firebase methods. So we will use them. I mean, I'll show you. Uh, real demo and also code snippets as well. So let, let's move on. So initially we just pass on the data to the cloud and then Firebase will actually authenticate it uh, if it's a sign in mechanism and then it will send all the token, refresh token and expiry token expiries and the user objects to the uh, device. So yeah, that's how it is. And then once everything is uh, authenticated clearly and it written all the data to the device and then app will show uh, just log into the application simply so that that's about the sign in and uh, more or less sign out also the same case here uh, we'll send all the sign up uh, details to the firebase and firebase will store it in in firebase authentication uh, object or whatever we can say that uh, yeah in coming slides uh, or uh, in a real demo we will see how actually it stores into the firebase authentication uh, those things we will see in real time and also and also the code snippets as well so let's dive into the next uh, uh, main intuition that's called uh, storing the trips right so let's move on oh yeah here it is what I'm trying to show you is uh, if if everything is works fine that's fine but if if at all like if you email has already existed um, uh, during the sign up so then it will actually return the errors as well so those things also we are we're actually tracking it and showing it on the screen so that's what the cross mock uh, shows here so not only the sign up or even the sign in also if something like uh, the password is wrong or if the email ID is incorrectly formatted and then also we will return 
uh, or we will get uh, an error from the Firebase itself and then we are actually using the try catch blocks to track them and show it on the screen. So that's what the cross mark I would like to show it here and we will see in real demo. Um, yeah, and then let's move on to the <coughs> next one, it's called Add Trips. So yeah, this is how the first uh, app uh, uh, looks like uh, when actually a fresh user logged into the application. It says like, welcome Lucky. Here the user uh, logged in person is Lucky. So we are actually getting this information from the Firebase. Um, uh, more or less it's authentication, Fire, Firebase authentication um, system. And then now if you see that it's everything is empty here because we haven't added any trips to it. So let, let's try to add it uh, a trip. So yeah, adding a go trip here, example for example. And then we are sending every data like um, uh, j just, I mean, every data instance of, uh, we will see uh, the screens in very shortly, but yeah, here we are sending the uh, which location and which country. So the, those are the two uh, attributes in a small object and we are actually collecting them and sending them to the Firebase. So that's called here. Um, there's a difference between the previous one and this one. Earlier we were using Firebase authentication and here it is Firebase Firestore or, or simply we can, we can call it as a Firestore. So we are storing collections or something like documents in a Firestore. So yeah, we are, we are storing them everything into the fire Firestore. So nothing is uh, local. So everything is real time and, and it will excellent. Uh, I mean, it, it serves excellently uh, for the real time sync actually. We will see uh, in very short. And then, so this is how we send it to the server. And then uh, it will actually store everything and then return the information back to the user saying like it's success or failure. And if it is success, we'll show it on the screen. And in the same case, if it's any, anything failure, we'll show it on the screen. So yeah, if everything is success, then we'll fetch the Goa trip details from again the file, file store and show it on the screen. So that's what uh, we'd like to tell here. And then we just show it on the screen just like this. Yeah, so the leftmost one is like, when there is no trips, we will show like a flying rocket and showing that you don't have any trips at uh, and it's time to start and the rightmost slide or the screenshot shows that we already added a trip and then we are showing it on the screen and so now we added a trip so now the next important thing is like we want to add expenses to the trip so that's what we're trying to do here so add expenses and here again we tap that goa trip and we are actually moved to the screen called goa screen goa trip so here we are trying to add the expenses so more or less the, the screen looks like the same, right? The previous uh, add trips and add expenses. But yeah, it is true, but now it makes difference now when we add an expense. So here, the same thing. We are again uh, collecting the data of expenses uh, of the particular trip, like uh, what we spent and how much we spent and what kind of category it is, like is it a food or is it a shopping or is it something, um, uh, entertainment, something like that. So everything, we just collect the data in a form of an object and send to the same Firebase fire store, so we'll store it and then we'll again fetch it from the store and then we actually store, show it on the screen. So fetching the cap data, so, so here in this you know, example, so it's a go trip, so in, obviously we uh, in general we take a cab uh, to go to somewhere uh, nearby Go or something and then we will uh, use that. So that's what I, I would like to add it here as an expense and then I added it and then we get the data and then we show it on the screen. So just like, just like this. Yeah, so we just add a screen. So likewise, we can add any number of expenses for any, for, any, for any ideal trip. So this will be stored even if you delete the app, it doesn't matter. So again, once you download the app, you will just simply just log in whatever the email which you have been registered, and then you just get all the details just like that. So that's about uh, the pure intuition of this app will sign in and sign up using firebase authentication and then we will add the trips and then we will add the expenses using our firebase uh, uh, fire store uh, capabilities so that's all about this video um, and if you want to contact me more or if you need any help you can just let me know uh, i can i can do my best for, for us uh, yeah and in the next video we will actually show you the demo and the you know, little bit of code base as well so that uh, uh, if you're a developer, you can actually utilize the code and we even expand or ex uh, extend the code base based on your needs. Uh, but if you are an end user and if you want to have these kind of applications on your phone for your real-time trips, then just let me know. 
um, based on your needs I can uh, even enhance it uh, with a much rich uh, UI uh, and more features as well so I think that's all so let's move on to final screen call maybe the contact screen yeah that's all uh, I and mean, if you have anything you can contact me uh, yeah let's move on to the next uh, video thank you